Additionally, when you think of parks, you might think of grass, trees, playgrounds, maybe even a squirrel running around. Well, we'll get to that in just a moment. But before I do, I want to take you on a quick journey as we visit our regional parks and check out the amenities and activities we have to offer. San Bernardino County Regional Parks is home to 10 facilities spanning over 9,200 acres. Our parks include Yucaipa Regional Park. Located near Oakland, Redlands, and Mountain Communities, Yucaipa Regional Park offers fishing from your choice of three lakes. A popular swim complex with dual flume water slides surrounded by soundy beaches and a campground with plenty of room for hiking and biking. Paddle boat rentals are also available at a low cost. Mojave Narrows Regional Park is located alongside an old riverbed in the high desert south of Victorville. Mojave Narrows offers lush plant growth, acres of waterways, impressive strands of cottonwood and willows, and a broad meadow all naturally landscaped by nature and wildlife. Our amenities offer camping, playgrounds, including a rock climbing wall, as well as fishing for all ages. Mojave River Forks, located in the Summit Valley of Vesperia, is the gateway to the Pacific Coast Trail and Deep Creek Hot Springs. This park provides convenient access to boating and fishing on Silverwood Lake and provides plenty of open spaces for those who want to camp in the great outdoors at a low cost. Glen Helen Regional Park is located at the base of the chaparral covered hills of the Cajon Pass off the I-15. With scenic views of both San Gabriel and San Bernardino Mountains, Glen Helen Regional Park offers 1,340 acres of recreational activity from hiking, bicycling, camping, and fishing to a playground, swim complex with splash pad and water slides. Cucamonga Guasi Regional Park is located blocks away from the LA Ontario International Airport in Ontario and offers great low-cost getaways for a day of family fun. We offer plenty of open spaces for picnics, sports, fishing, and barbecues. Our lakes are stocked seasonally and offer fishing, a swim complex with water slides, a splash pad and playground. Paddle boats are also available at a low, low cost. Prado Regional Park, located in Chino Valley Basin, is loaded with outdoor recreation and adventures, offering fishing, camping, hiking, biking, and nature trails. Splash pads, disc golfs, and outstanding picnic facilities are just a sampling of what we have to offer at this park. A unique feature of Prado is that it has a meeting room that seats 80 people and is ideal for club meetings, parties, and receptions. Paddle boat rentals are also available at a low cost. Lake Gregory Regional Park is located in the community of Crestline off of California 18. Lake Gregory Regional Park is the hidden gem tucked in the cool cedars and pine forests of San Bernardino Mountains. The lake has 84 surface acres with a large size inflatable water park, water slides, beach, splash pad areas, and we even offer free skate parks and sports courts. Lake Gregory is a cool getaway for those hot summer months in the city. A dog park and built-in trails with exercise stations are available along the lake. You can even rent a boat at a low, low price. San Bernardino County Regional Parks also oversees and maintains the Santa Ana River Trail and a portion of the Big Morongo Canyon Preserve in Morongo Valley. San Bernardino stretch of the Santa Ana River Trail, also known as SART, the Santa Ana River Trail is a free bicycle trail that runs alongside the Santa Ana River. When completed, it will be the longest multi-use trail in Southern California, spanning over 100 miles between San Bernardino and Orange County. Many people use this trail to train for competition or just to use it as a safe way to ride your bike away from vehicles and street traffic. We have many entry points along the trail, but the main entrance is located behind San Bernardino County Hall of Records off Hospitality Way, just west of Waterman Avenue, here in San Bernardino. A portion of Big Morongo Canyon Preserve is located on Morongo Valley, north of Desert Hot Springs. The preserve is well recognized as an important wildlife gateway that links the San Gregorio Wilderness with the San Bernardino National Forest and Joshua Tree National Park. Many educational walks and hikes are offered there by volunteers at a low cost or visitors can explore on their own. Portions of the preserve are ADA compliant. 
You can learn more about the parks at our website and on our social media pages. Remember earlier when I asked you what do people traditionally think of when you say park? And we were thinking trees, grass, squirrels? Well, that's right, but I bet a ghost never popped into your mind. Well, not a real ghost, but a ghost town. And that's the last park I'm gonna share with you guys today before we continue talking about the activities our community can enjoy. Calico Ghost Town in Yermo, just north of Barstow off the I-15, is an Old West mining town that has been around since 1881 and was abandoned in the mid-1890s after silver lost its value. The town that once gave miners a good living lost its hustle and essentially became a ghost town. In 1966, Walter Knotts, the founder of Knotts Berry Farm, donated the town to San Bernardino County and has been a part of the regional parks lineup ever since. Today, Calico is visited by people across the country and from all over the world. Along with its history and attractions, Calico Ghost Town has shops, restaurants, and offers camping, hiking, and off-roading. It is ideal for the entire family including your dog as they are pet friendly. Now, where can you experience a real mining ghost town at a fraction of the cost of a theme park? Growing up in San Bernardino County, the regional parks were a true staple for my family. My parents both worked very hard and we struggled financially. So being able to come to the parks and make those memories without breaking that family budget was great. Today, the regional park still offers that same great experience. You can come to the park, enjoy some physical activity, and explore and learn new and exciting things. And this is where I come in. As the recreation coordinator for the department, I am constantly looking at new ways to engage the community through educational, safe, and healthy programs in our parks. CalFresh Healthy Living and our County Vision to Be Active initiative go hand in hand to improve wellness through recreational activities, eating healthy, and exploring the outdoors. At our parks, you can pack a lunch and grab a blanket for a picnic, catch, clean, and grill a fish, come together with family and friends for walks, hikes, bicycling, and playing ball. Many may choose to read a book under a tree or explore our native plants and wildlife. Our landscapes offer great photo opportunities for photographers, and whatever your activity is, our park provides safe, clean, and well-maintained landscapes. Our parks are gated and monitored during the day, and we offer clean picnic shelters and restrooms. Recently, due to COVID-19 restrictions, our workshops and programs went virtual, and we provided them at no cost. We started off with our fishing workshops, wildlife and ecology episodes, and then we moved on to a weekly web series called Wilderness Wednesdays, where each week we focused on different animals, including, but not limited to, the possum, snake, and bird. This series we offered was an entire day of videos from live animal episodes to crafting the animal with arts and crafts videos, and then to the animal book selection video in collaboration with our county libraries. Our videos can be found in the video section of our website, parks.sbcounty.gov. In July, we hosted our annual Teddy Bear Picnic Photo Contest, encouraging our visitors to bring their favorite stuffed friend to the park for a picnic, snap a photo, and send it to us for a chance to win a stuffed ranger bear. This is an annual contest and always generates great participation. We also provided in-park scavenger hunts for a chance to win a prize. For example, find the gnome or locate the superhero action word randomly posted throughout the parks to win a prize always gave the kids something constructive to do. We often partner up with other county agencies like libraries and museums to host programs in the park. This summer, Glen Helen Regional Park was host to the Summer Reading Program Live Performances, and Prado Regional Park just hosted a STEAM Museum and Forces in Motion program at the beginning of the month. Most in-person programs offered in our parks are included in that low-cost vehicle entry fee. In the fall of 2022, we will be hosting weekend interpretive hikes to learn more about the ecology in the parks. Our parks always have wide open spaces for bike riding, roller skating, skateboarding, and more. Multiple parks offer playgrounds, trails, and room to play. Both Yucaipa and Prado Regional Park are home to several baseball diamonds and soccer fields as well. At regional parks, there is always something to do. We offer camping, both tent and full hookup, as well as fishing at an additional fee. We host several annual events and live performances. 
We even host a dog swim day at Yukaipa Regional Park at the end of summer. A full schedule of activities can be found on our website, parks.sbcounty.gov, or via any social media outlet by searching San Bernardino County Regional Parks. San Bernardino County Regional Parks has an admission fee as low as $8 per vehicle. So next time you're looking for some way to entertain the troops, pack up that lunch, load up that car, and head on over to your local regional park. And we'll see you at the parks. Bye.